You guys want a little behind the scenes peek at how I work my business? Well, you know you're here already, so you might as well watch. Ready, set, let's go. Hey guys, it is Jackie Duran. I am giving you a little behind the scenes of things that I'm doing to work my business today. And it's something that I talk about a lot, which is sharing my business. And I realize I need to do a little bit more of that. So boom shakalaka, that is what we are doing today. So today you're gonna get a little behind the scenes peek at kind of what my day looks like. Most of you already know that I do have a career outside of the house. So I do work in the office throughout the week, um, though I do try to work from home as often as possible. Um, some days that just ends up being one day a week, some days more. So it depends on kind of how the week is flowing, what's going on at work, if I've got a lot of projects, meetings, trainings, things like that. So um, this week I actually changed up my schedule officially. Um, so now that I promoted to director, I needed to make sure that my Mondays were a little bit more on point to kind of set up my week for my business and also kind of help me feel a little bit on top of the game. So um, on Mondays, there is a Cincy leadership call. And so I wanted to make sure that I would be available for that. It is available for replay, but I really hate missing the Tuesday meetings if I have work to do. So I really didn't want to miss the weekly leadership calls. So um, I kind of move my schedule around. So every Monday I do telecommute, which I think is really going to help me set myself up for success. So very first tip that I have for any of you who are working to build this as a business is to find little ways that you can move your own schedule around. Um, luckily enough, I do have a very flexible life balance career. So that does help a lot. So that is something that I was able to do, but there are different ways. So think about different ways that you could restructure some of the things that you do, maybe um, just kind of give yourself a little bit more wiggle room so you can feel more comfortable in what you're doing with your business. So this past week, I actually worked in office for the first time in quite a long time. Um, because I normally would always work from home on a Friday and that was great to kind of set me up into the weekend but at the same time I felt that a lot of times I I was working from home but at the same time I wasn't being as productive in my business and when I was I really felt like I was playing catch-up from the whole week um, so I did like I said I changed my schedule I went in on Friday which was really weird but I did it <laughs> and so Friday night we had a really nice family night with um, a movie at home and some popcorn. Um, really carving out that time, guys, is very important. So today is Saturday. Um, I've spent today working with uh, my direct team. So if you guys are watching this, you know I've talked to some of you today. Um, so we've got some stuff going on there. I am currently getting ready to put together some mail outs and I'm also putting together mystery bags. Um, I went ahead and I did mystery bags this month, which was very exciting. I haven't done mystery bags in a couple months actually. Um, and before when I was doing them, I wasn't really doing them as mystery bags. I was doing them as like my own personal whiff box. Um, but now that Cincy has their own whiff box, I needed to switch things up again. So yet another example, you know, you just gotta change things around. So I did mystery bags this month, with, which happened to actually be a really good thing for my business. It was really easy and quick for my customers to participate in that, so that's great. Um, and so I did get some stuff in, so I'm gonna be putting together four of those today. Um, putting those together, I've got mail outs to do. See all these yummy samples of butter pecan. 
I still have some that I haven't yet bagged up over here. Let me just say, my entire office smells like butter pecan. It's awesome. It's awesome, awesome. So, I've got that happening, mail outs happening, mystery bags happening. Um, I've got two people that I've been talking to about joining Scentsy. Um, so, I'm circling back around to them to do some follow-ups. And then I need to place an order. So, lots of stuff kind of happening all at the same time. So I said lots of stuff happening all at once, right? Yeah, that's truly what's happening. So getting some samples ready to mail out, and I actually do this a couple of different ways. So one of the ways is I actually have postcards that I've made up um, that I get through Vistaprint, and it just says, you know, there's Happy Mail on its way, and here's a new sample surprise. Um, so I staple the samples to my postcards, then I put them in an envelope with one stamp and mail them out. Um, then, I will also throw in flyers for those um, interested in the flyers. So it talks about the warmer of the month, which is the gold leaf, which is amazing. It is upstairs in my living room and is, yeah, it's definitely, that one is definitely in my top 10 favorite warmers of all time because it's just so stinking pretty. Um, anyway, and so I've got these, um, throw in a business card with it, um, and mail these out. I usually will do that, um, with some of my newer customers and then just to help spice things up and make things fun and happy. Um, I've got some fun little pumpkins and ding, 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 gold leaves, um, to kind of put in as fun confetti for the envelopes. So that's kind of how that works. So let me, I'm gonna put this one together here. So I've got it in there. Actually, I'm gonna face it the other way. Hopefully when they open it, they'll open it that way. I'm gonna put in some fun little pumpkins. These guys are just so stinking cute, man. They're just so little and they're just so cute. I love them. I love all right, so let me put them in there. Those in there. And a couple little gold leaf gundadas. It's very easy the very first time that I was pulling these out because um, they're so little. <laughs> I uh, grabbed a little too many. <laughs> the very first time I just went with the little container and yeah, it was like, ooh, okay. Oops gold leaf overload. So, kind of scale it back. All right, get my return address label one here. That's there. All right, so that is one ready to go. This one is going to get, this is for a new customer. I wanna make sure I put a business card in there. So, got that, got a business card. That in there, I'm gonna do some more gold leaf. Very pretty stuff happening. Okay, yet again, return address label. So, that's just two different ways that I do my um, samples for mailing out. So, I kind of keep it easy and to the point. Um, I like to try and get as many out as I can each month because Obviously, the more that I can get out, the more that I can get into people's hands. And 
trust me, when they smell butter pecan, it's habit forming. All right, I got mail outs done. Did you lose me? Yeah. Have you already made your video or have you not? Oh, you will? <laughs> Still making it. I was sharing with them how I work my business. Oh, how you work my, your business? Well, I guess you'll have to watch the video and find out. Okay. <laughs> mail outs done. I want to check though on there it is. Shut. Okay. I'm checking because I had ordered a Sensi shirt. Priorities. I know. Um I'm just checking the tracking of it, um, which is actually kind of a good point to talk about as well because um, I've actually talked about this a handful of times. Oh, good, it's coming Monday. Um, I talked to this a handful of times with uh, some of my team members today about follow-ups, and that's a really good opportunity um, to look at the workstation, go into that orders tab, and you know check on those orders you can within your workstation you can go in you can go into the order tab click on history then when you click on history it's going to show you all the orders um one by one any parties things like that right so um the first thing that i do when i am looking through these is i'll click on the order i will go ahead and verify um because there's a click to track button on every single order that has already shipped out. Um, so I go ahead and I click just to verify um, this order that I'm looking at right now says that it was actually delivered last Monday. Um, so that puts us at about a week. So what I'm doing is I'm actually putting, I have the little sticky note app on my computer and um, I kind of use that when I'm working on the computer because my computer and my tablet will sync. Um, so depending on which one I'm working on, I'll have the note either way. So I've got my to-dos up. All right, so I've got those notes on there. That's kind of how I can keep track for myself. Um, that is my running daily to-do list. So those are the little things that I keep up and running. I also use the Maven app on my phone. Um, and that has really made a big difference in my personal follow-ups. So that app, that app actually really helps a lot with that. So it really cuts down a lot on the writing. I would go back and forth from a planner to um, a notebook or what have you. Um, I've done follow-ups lots of different ways with Maven and doing a daily task log is truly the best thing that's working for me right now. Mm, I can't give out all the goodies, but um, some of the things that I'm putting in my mystery bags that I really wish I could open and smell. Poo. I already sent out, um, I send my team texts um, usually about three times a month um, is what I'm starting to do. And so, because I don't want to overwhelm them with text, but they're just little photo reminders of things that are going on. And obviously here in the world of Scentsy, we have a really big promotion starting on Monday, which is the Monster Monday promotion. And it's a flash sale, which happens specifically online. So everything's gonna be 
Um, everything included in the sale will be up to 80% off and it's going to be fantastic. I will tell you that in the past when we have done these sales, it's been phenomenal and it's been fantastic and they truly have really great deals. Um, and just like I have encouraged my team, I'll share with you guys as well. So what I've done and what I've encouraged them to do is to make sure that they've got like an open party link in their workstation that shows up on their on their website. So that way when customers are on Monday doing the Monster Monday flash sale, they can very easily be sure to click on that party link. All of the orders that will be going in on Monday that are part of the Monster Monday sale will all be attached into one party in, in the back end on the workstation. Um, so that's a really great way to kind of generate a party to be able to generate those host rewards. Um, that is always a good thing to have is just like that running party link out there. However, but within regards to a sale like this, especially a flash sale like this, I mean, you don't know who might be hopping on your website to order and you just want to make sure that it's there. It's front and center and they know exactly where to go and they know what to click on. So I'm naming mine Monster Monday Sale. <laughs> uh, never make it too complicated. Why overcomplicate things? That's just silly. Don't do that. You just make more work for yourself in the end. So I am making sure this is all set up. Here we go. Boom. Now my link will show up on my website. So guys, hey, if you are interested in shopping up to 80% off on Scentsy, you need to be hitting up the melting pot. All right, so there's there's my Saturday so far. Sunday is family day. Monday is going to be back to business for me. So just getting little projects done throughout the weekend really helps out. It gets me on a good track for the week. Staying organized, getting prepared, and touching base with my team is key. So until I talk to you guys next time, peace, love, happiness. Bye.